Mount Smart Stadium plays host here to the New Auckland Warriors taking on the Melbourne Storm, which will be a highly expected match. A lot of drama between these two teams in the chat recently. And the Warriors ran on chance after the one back-to-back -back games last week. Meanwhile, the Storm have quite a few changes all across the park. It should be a very interesting performance to see who can come out on top. Both teams have two wins and four losses, but can both still make the finals with a little bit of push towards the end of the season. I'm your commentator for today's match, Lachlan Martin. It should be a very entertaining match. Obviously, last week, the Warriors just got away from the... Um, Oh, I can't even remember what the team it was. Um, Paramount Eels, my apologies, 28 to 12 points. And then the um, Storm lost to the Rabbitohs to lose what I believe was their third loss in a row. 34 points to 12. Sorry, to 10 in the end. Warriors have more form, but you can't argue the Storm team definitely has some talent. We got off Ben Punch taking the first. Taking the uh, first pack of arrows, throwing out that out the middle. That's a good start to the game, obviously. Those two remain on the chase. But Sonny Ty has moved from 5-8, um, from dummy half into 5-8, while Black Harris has gone into his dummy half role. So a new half combination here with Wolke and Black Harris, um, and Sonny Ty. The third half combination the Storm have had all season, obviously starting with Sam Herbin and Wolke before Black Harris and Wolke. And now we have Sonny Ty and Wolke. Let's give it a fourth tackle now. It's going to go ahead and alert. The new recruit for the Storm, playing his third game in Storm Colors, takes a hit up there. Jan White to play to bring him down. That's the fifth tackle. Timmy Wool K now puts it high. That's a good little kick there. A very good kick taken well by Cooper Frog. Straight into space. And he's going to be equal tap there. Oh, what a play there. I thought he was going to be through some space. Cooper Gronk. But he gets taken down. They go inside now. Aaron White. He was like a wall, but he was called Cooper Croak. Who was the ankle tap by? Might have been Blake Harris. Let's give his second tackle. Long ball over Hugh Snow. It's a great kick by Wilke, but just wasn't that much of the chase. For a second there, we caught him bottom of the way there. Goes long ball over here to Pat Corcoran. Breaks past one tackle. The Hunter brought Thompson fails to bring him down. Wilke comes across to make a crucial tackle on the Warriors' lock forward. Short ball there to John Nanai. Pushes forward there. That's going to be his fifth tackle now. It's going to go back there. It's going to be Hughes though to kick, kick over. That's a good little kick there. Is he going to go dead? Broader Tops is forced to play with it. Marcus Square is back there. And we have a goal line drop out. A beautiful set there by the um, Warriors. After a good set by the Storm. Broke makes a quality catch. There he goes 40 minutes. They've been put in a good set. A good kick. Good chase. And the Warriors... Now on the attack, the first real attack opportunity of the game. John Lamo pushes forward. Right, Stop for both teams, but the Warriors start with the advantage. It goes over to Isaac Simons. Good pass over to from Houston. Had a rocks and diamonds week last week, making a couple errors early on before he eventually set up a few tries to win the game for the Warriors. So, you know what quality he can be. Third tackle now. Long ball over to Nanai. Being taken down. Center and winger. Combination of Walker and Broader Tops has to take him down. Hugh Snow dummies and runs. Lawrence is the player to pull him down. Fifth tackle now. Who's it going to be? I don't really see any options there. Might be. Um, might be. Oh, six, that's six again. It's going to be picked up by Tori Gav They're going to say going backwards up the storm after it never even found Corcoran. And. Well, the Melbourne Storm survive after some interesting attack. And oh, Ryan Lawrence takes some. Takes a shot for a strong. Daniel Engo, the player it is. Although. So the Tigers made an error. Croc steps. They're going to go back for the knock-on, though. And that's disappointing. Another error by the Storm. New, the new Storm 5-8. Chance Bunted is down. The Warriors straight back on the attack. The Warriors have to score. They don't want to waste opportunities. They can't waste too many opportunities. Houston dummies and runs. Houston runs right the line and he's over. Houston flat-footed there. Just pushed forward. Bell wasn't able to take him down. And Houston crosses what will be the first try of the day. At home, Hugh Snow has been very good. One of the Warriors' best plays, despite not having, you know, the Warriors not being in the best form, or they ever have gone the last game. But the Warriors haven't been in the best form recently, this season especially. But Hugh Snow has been a great buyer for them. He's really cemented himself as their long-term number six, and I'd like to see him keep him long-term, because he's been in tremendous form. And he scores the opening try there for the Warriors. And he'll look to make it six points nil. 
to Houston playing at the Cowboys last year, but unfortunately, they did too hot last year, the Cowboys, with him in their squad. But he's gone to the Warriors now, and he's made that number six jersey his own for at least a moment. 6 0 the score, seven minutes in. A couple errors for the Storm early on, most likely will be starting to tire, but do 5 8, make it an error against the Oakland Warriors. And the Warriors take the lead. Seven minutes gone. Okay, getting the ball on the tee. He's going to kick back off now. The Warriors win here. I think it was four lost to the round. Warriors win here. They'll go four and three. Which won't be too bad heading into the final last two rounds of the season. And it'll be a massive turnaround after their start of the year. That's going to be the first tackle. McCartney. Short ball there to Paddy Corcoran. Running on an edge there. But he's taken down there. That's the second tackle. 30 McCartney now. Inside ball there to Bun. So oh, that's good defense there. Luke Mack is playing in the back row today. Interesting to see how he goes in a new position there. That's going to be Engo. Push it forward. That's a good tackle. That's the four. The plate there. Goes McCartney. Dummies and runs. But it's collected there by Sony Tyre and what looks to be Blake Harris on that defensive set. It's going to be Pat Corker now. He punts it across. Good kick there by Paddy Corker. Played a bit in the half. So he knows how to kick a ball. But oh, that's good defense now. McCartney, it is down on Maverick Oldfield to make that tackle, and that's going to make it even harder for him to work the way out. But Corey Bell makes his way out. That's a good line break. It's a line break. I don't know if after what was a great set there. Second tackle. K. Short ball there. Gives it off to Hayden Miller. That's going to be the third tackle. Gives it over there to Re Betu, I should say. Throwing out Betu. Pushes forward. Fourth tackle now. It's going to go there. Go Sonny Tyre. Fifth tackle. Dummies and runs. Can't make it many for me. And that's a good set by the Storm. Considering when I started, it wasn't too bad of a set. It goes down to Cooper Gronk now. We're going to get on. We know how dangerous he can be. Steps one. This is looking good from Cooper Gronk. Tyre and Corey Belva plays there to make a crucial tackle on the Warriors wing. A new recruit. He started obviously in the centers a few weeks ago, but now he's moved on to the wing and been really good since he's kind of to the, the Warriors, I think, from the Broncos. I think so far he's been good as Paddy Corcoran now. Dummies and runs. He's held there. Three, back with me. He'll play it there just past the 50. He goes over there. It's going to be down I. Now I can't get too many meters there. He's taken down there by throwing out Betu. That's the fourth tackle. Goes over to Bunty. Bunty gets past one. Looking for space. He's pulled down there by Blake Harris. Fifth tackle now. It's going to be McCartney. McCartney punts it over. Take him away from Broader Thompson. Watch out. Broader Thompson dangerous. He takes on Chance Bunce. Bunce is going to get him. He's going to take him towards the sideline. He stays in though. Broader Thompson, how dangerous and electric this wing can be. For a second there, it looked dangerous as now. Storm though, start there. Set inside the Warriors half. Thumped a great kick return. Goes to Wilkay. Long ball over to Sean Walker. Steps round one. Pulled down eventually there by Marcus Webb. That's going to be the third tackle now. Just short for 30. Goes Corey Bell. Straight through a gap there. Has a couple of defenders behind him. Jaden White to play the ball now. That's the fourth tackle now. Which way are they going? What's the plan here? Brian Lawrence. Short ball there. Ben Punch. If what an attack and kick and credit to put the pressure on. Who's going to be fifth tackle? It's going to be Fetu. Rubbers it in. Looking for a runner. He's only found David Barner. And the kick was probably wasn't powerful enough, to be honest. And the Warriors have the ball back. It wasn't too bad of a kick. It just probably didn't have enough power on it. Probably not the player you wanted to kick it. And the Warriors pushed the way upfield. Short side down. They're going to go back to the middle field. Bunce it is. Bunce is a couple of outside runners. In fact, he takes up Corey Bell. He's actually pulled down there, though. That's the fourth tackle now. McCartney gives it short there to Sticko Bro. Who's collected there by the likes Mark of throwing out there and Blake Harris. That's gonna be the fifth tackle now. Fifteen minutes gone. Both teams have enough opportunities, but the Warriors remain up six points to nil. So it goes down to Old, but I've got to watch out here. Gets around one. That's good defense. Oh, but Sticker Bro's there to make a crucial tackle. They needed that. Chance Buds looked a little bit troubled there trying to make that tackle, and they needed that one. Oh, Ryan Lawrence juggles the ball. He takes it though. That's gonna be the second tackle now. Goes back there to Betu. Betu straight through the line. Looking for space, but he drops a cold. Too slow, picks it up, makes some lead as Corey Bell wraps him up. The last not defense. Luckily, Corey Bell was waiting there. So that could have been dangerous there, but the Warriors have the ball back. 
Looks good. Looks like he's been a little close to pass though, and now they work the wet field. Barna, long ball over to Isaac Simons. He might go over the sideline here. He will. Great tackle there by Borden Thompson. Flingham's in over the sideline, and I was looking dangerous for a moment, but just Borden Thompson just comes across and gets him over there. And that was good defense there by the New Zealand Warriors. That's one. Move. I'm sorry, not the Auckland Warriors, the um, Melbourne Storm, I should say. And now Broner Thompson with some space. So, both teams having chances, throwing shots from up the shot. But both teams also showing some good resilience here. Oh, a bit of a big, um, bit of a um, switch of plays there. Got off with Wilkay before he sent back over to Blake Karras. Let's see Wilkay run a bit there. He had a bit of space in front of him as Mac is actually running. I feel like that's the first time I've seen Mac has touched the ball in this second row position. So, interesting to see how they use him. To give it out to Dylan Sharp. Good tackle there on the Melbourne centre. Bill played there, fifth tackle. It's going to be Sonny Tyre. He punts it into the backfield. Field and nice defense by Isaac Simons. Gets around one. He's also very dangerous, but Corey Bell's there. He's always there, Corey Bell. They're having a great season. Currently, I think he scored eight tries this season. I'm interested to see if he can add to that tally today. It's the second tackle now, though. White. Sends it over to Bunce. Bunce gets around one. We know Dangerous he is. The tries the big Corey Bell back on the inside. Pat Corker breaks the tackle. Marcus makes the tackle. Great stuff there for Pat Corker to break a few tackles. That's giving the third tackle over to 20. Gives it down to McCartney. Dummies and runs. Fett is the play to take him down. That's giving the fourth tackle. The New Zealand, um, the Melbourne Storm can't afford to concede here. Edgo pushes forward looking for a line. He might get there in fact. Daniel Edgo with all the strength in the world. Pushes forward, and I think he's got a try here. We'll have to take another look at That's not going to tell us that angle. Can't see if he finds the white line, and I think he has. There we go. That's touched the chalk. That's found the blade of grass. And the Orchid Warriors extend their lead. They had some great footage. Look at that great chance bunt run. Just straight up the middle. Found the pass to Corcoran, didn't quite have the leg speed to get there, had a couple defenders chasing and caught down eventually by Luke Marcus, but didn't take very long. Good job McCartney, run, quick play to ball, leads to end go, pushing his way forward. It looked like he was just taking the settler there, but he just has a lot of strength, Ben he just pushes forward, kept going. And a, Ryan Lawrence struggled to keep him up, and he couldn't keep him up. Now the Warriors extend the lead out to 12, and the Melbourne Storm seem a little bit starstruck. They're favourites going into this game, but the Warriors winning on a winning streak of two games. They're looking to extend it here to a third with how well they're playing at the moment. It's hard, it's hard to believe they lost their first four games of the season. Will K kicks off down to Hugh Snow, gives it there to Rex Slattery. That's going to be the first tackle. They'll play it there. Goes to Pat Corcoran now. Corcoran. Taken now by Blake Harris and Riley Murray, who's just come on the field now. Goes long ball over to Barna. Barna straight through the line. Has a couple of support on the inside. Goes to try to link up with Fuse. No, but Manufa Philly was there. And they survive. Goes over now to Sean Walker. This opportunity to be built. This build I really have to use considering they're down by 12 at the moment. Goes to Wool K. He's happy to take this hit up there. They can use this potentially get a try for Melbourne Storm. Put them in position to potentially come back. Mellert now pushes forward. That's the fourth tackle. Goes over to Marcus. Marcus with some space. Took a road to play to take him down though. Good tackle by the small man on big man. Fifth tackle. They need a good kick here. Sony Tyre puts it high. That's a great kick. Beautiful place kick, but Aaron White, under all sorts of pressure, makes a tremendous catch in just from the end goal. And the Storm, once again, failed to get any, you know, get any, a repeat hit or a try. But the Auckland Warriors show a lot of guts there to make that catch. And they survive with the skin of their teeth. Stickerbro playing it there. Third tackle. This is short there to Rex Slattery. Fourth tackle. Goes inside there to pack Corcoran, look for space. He's held there. 
They've tackled. McCartney. Punts it over to the backfield. Looking for space. It goes to Braun and Thompson. Braun and Thompson look pushing forward. Not the greatest kick, and they'll start to just short the 50. This is good from the um, Storm. They're currently winning the field position battle, which is where you want to be at. at. Malkus gets on the outside shot of your goal McCuzzy, but he's taken down there. Mellon inside ball there to Corey Bell. Looking for space, but another good tackle on the electric fullback that is Corey Bell. Third tackle now. He plays it there. Goes out the back tire. Gives it a K. Gets it over there to Sean Walker. Pushes forward there. That's the fourth tackle. Goes Hayden and Mello. He's happened to push forward there. Gets up to the 10 meter line. That's going to be fifth tackle now. Who's it going to be this time? Is it going to be Wool K? In fact, it goes to five feet. I don't think that was the plan. He can't do anything with it. Gets wrapped up. And again, another disappointing fifth tackle play there. The Auckland Warriors survive. And that was, to be honest, that was quite disappointing once again. They're currently winning the Poopers' Battle. They keep it up. They'll get other opportunities in the storm. But at the moment, the Auckland Warriors simply just taking the pressure with ease. Which will that'll be the second tackle. Barter. Straight through the gap. Looking for a pass. He chooses to hold on to a pretty smart decision there. Probably like a box. If they can find something, this could be good. Third tackle now. Goes at the back there to Isaac Simons. Sean Walker, the player that has to take him down. A good tackle there. Goes at the back to Paddy Corcoran. He can't break a tackle. Fifth tackle now. Who's it going to be? Goes back. It's going to be Hugh Snow. Punts it backfield. It's going to be Mav Oldfield to take the run. Mav Oldfield back. Finds him in space. Beats one. Beats another. And there's a few defenders chasing him. But oh, Jenna White gets back there. He got past Buds. Got beaten to Gorma Cuzzy. It looked like he was waiting for the races. But Jenna White cuts in field to make a crucial tackle on the Storm Winger. Goes short ball there. It's going to be far Philly. Uh, back into the middle field. Kyle gives a short there to Fetu. That'll be the fourth tackle. That's tackle four. Hands off. Goes over to Murray. Murray breaks past one tackle. That's a good run. He's looking for some offloads. He can't find it. That's going to be the fifth tackle now. Goes Tyre. Grub puts it high, in fact. I thought he was going to grub and He puts it high. Great take there. Sean Walker looking for the line, but he doesn't get anywhere, and he gets taken down. He managed to outleap Marcus Ware, which is a huge take. But that's all he manages to do with it. And in the end, once again, the Warriors can't find... Sorry, the Melbourne Storm can't find it. And a bit of second tackle. 30 minutes gone so far. The Warriors leading 12 points to nil. And the Melbourne Storm look to be on the ropes at the moment. That would be the third tackle. Inside ball there to Barna. For some space. Melon eventually gets on the side to make the tackle. Crucial tackle made there by the Storm second rower. Goes back there. Goes to Yugo Mikazi. Taken down there. Blake Harris rushes him to the ground. A fifth tackle. Ten minutes to go to half time here. The Storm is still behind. That's not the greatest kick, but they have kick chase to make it look better. Braun and Thompson taken down there on the third. And we go short side here. It's looking good, but Marcus Square, he gets just on side. I thought he might have got offside for a second. But the rest has no, he barely got on side, which is good. They now go to Broder Thompson. They keep attacking with these wingers, set, especially this side. But so far, the Warriors' attack hasn't looked threatened. Sorry, the Warriors' defense hasn't really looked threatened. Fourth tackle now. Out of dummy half. Blake Harris gives it back on the inside, back to 95 Billy. I thought it might have been forward pass there. The ref says no, though. It's only tire, in fact. Looks for, dub looks for a dummy and run. Looks to go himself, but he can't find anything. And that's a handoff. Another disappointing fifth tackle option there. And the Warriors are just eating up this defensive pressure. I haven't had a ball down there for a while, but they just eating it up. And they're slowly winning back the field position. Even if it's just like a couple more meters each set. And it's good to see from the Warriors. A lot of resilience so far this game. He's now buds up the middle. That's a good run there. Can't find the offload to Houston. No, sorry, Jenna White, who was waiting there. That's going to be the third tackle there. He's stuck at marker. It's going to be Igor McCuzzy. Looking for some meters. But, oh, he's wrapped up nicely there by Karras. That's a good tackle there. Fourth tackle. 
Goes to Eustow. It's going to go over there to Paddy Corker, and he can't find the inside pass there. That's going to fifth tackle now. Who's it going to go to? Goes to Sticko Bro. Do they realize it's the last? I don't think they're doing Sticko Bro takes the tackle. That's a disappointing end to a set. I don't know if they realized it was the last dead of Warriors. I think they might have thought they had another tackle up their sleeve, but unfortunately. The set ends there as Malkis have to be taken down by, by Chance Buds there. It's looking good here for him. They spread it nicely. Will K finds it off, but Demelli didn't really need a throw. He probably should have just held on to it there. But the second attack, this is a good spread. Fights up for half time. You feel they can do something here. The Melbourne store, they can fight, just find something, just something small before half time. Sean Walker sends it over back to Sodi Tyre. Goes himself, but he's pulled down by Yagor Mkazi. Inside ball there. Fifth tackle now. Goes Tony Tyre. Charge down. I thought maybe six more tackles. They said no. Offload there to play Karras. Sorry, I was holding my breath thinking it was going to be six more tackles. And the ref said no. Wasn't played at. Storm could consider himself a bit of hard done by there. Thank you, Storm. Okay, give a bit of a couple words to the referee. You'll be careful. Okay, you don't get... Potentially uh, sin bin there, but refs explained that no, wasn't played out. Hit their head, wasn't played out, and fortunately for them, it's going to be Warriors ball. Go short, that a long pass over to Isaac. Sorry, that's a good pass there. Then's up big, Sean Walker pulls him down. It's going to fourth tackle now. Corporate inside ball, better slattery. Pushes forward there. Fifth tackle now. Three minutes to go to half time. The Warriors still up 12 points to nil. Kusto punts it over. No one's really finds it. It's going to be still in sharp. Eventually gets back there. It's a little bit longer. Could have landed in the lap of Cooper Gronk. But no. So the Tigers is short there. Throwing out Betu. Goes Sonny Tiger. Short boy. Probably should have just gone himself there. Had a bit of third tackle now. Goes back to Luke Malkus. Goes to self. That's the fourth tackle. A minute and a half to half time. Neither team have any points but since the 20th minute mark. And the Sharp takes it there. That's the fifth tackle. It's going to be so tight. This is probably the last time they touch the ball this half. It goes all the way over. Then Isaac Simons, who gets around one. This is looking dangerous, but he's wrapped up there. Good tackle there by Corey Bell. Goes Chance Buds. And oh, that's a big shot. Chance Buds taking a regulation hit up. Ryan Lawrence just sat him on his ass. Is now Barn and now runs back on the inside. That's going to be the third tackle. Goes over to Chance Buds. Gets around one, but he's eventually pulled down there by Blake Harris. Goes inside there to Corcoran. That's to be the final play of the half, you'd have to think. Corcoran not interested in playing the ball. They've stopped there, and it's going to be half time. The Auckland Warriors leading the Storm at home. 12 points to nil. From video editing to thumbnail design, Flow Managing covers all of your YouTube and social media needs, relieving the stress of finding creative workers and giving you more time to be creative yourself. While wait, join Flow Managing, and we will work for you. We're back here in the second half. Will K getting the ball back on the tee. Side down, 12 points to new at half time, obviously. Not the first half they would have liked. The Melbourne boys. They're down, yet to score a point in this game. The Warriors, though, they're looking rejuvenated since they've started winning a couple games. Two in a row at the moment. Their first, quite to my mind, viewers, the first back to back games they've won the past couple weeks since season two. And. They're looking to make it three. And I don't know if they've ever done three. We'll have to get our stats to check that. It's a long pass over there. We're looking to spread it straight off. They start with third tackle. Chance Bud's obviously had a very good half. Ran for over 100 meters, so very good by his standards. And oh, Keith up the middle there. That's a good run. He's just come on and after his first touch of the game. Brilliant stuff. Goes over to me now. now. Gets it off load. Jane and White. Fifth tackle now. I'm playing for the Warriors who played very well was David Barner running for 136 metres in that first half. So a very good half. But that's a poor kick there. 
It's going to get the storm. A good opportunity to start this set in good field position. Exactly what they would have liked to start this half. It's going to be a lucky tour. He's happened to take a run there. Sunny tire, dummies and runs. Three. He's held there. Goes over to Lawrence. Lawrence bumps off one. This is good from the Melbourne Storm. Fourth tackle now. This is really good, I'd have to say. Fourth tackle goes. Sunny tire out to Corey Bell. Watch out here. He's already scored eight tries this season. Looking for maybe a ninth. But he's pulled down there. Fifth tackle. Goes back. It's going to be tire. I'm sorry. Full cash to take. Puts it high. Good kick. Oh, but a great take by Cooper wrong. Storm defenders everywhere else, but from the player catching the ball, and that's that's an absolutely majestic catch there. As Dallow worked away, worked himself out off their own line. That's a good run there from Aaron White, but Cooper Gronk hasn't had much ball in that first half, but he's made a lot of crucial catches under lots of pressure, and well, that's another one right there. Third half goes Jen and White, palms off one. Has a support runner in Hugh Snow. Can't find him though. Goes over to Nanai. He takes a settler there. That'll be the fifth tackle. Another good set there by the Warriors, but they would like a better kick here. Goes Hugh Snow. It's a good kick in the MBT runs onto it. Had the most run meters of any Storm player in that first half. Just over 100. Only played to reach over 100. There's Corey Bell now. Watch out here. Watch out. Looking for space. Bunce is back there to make a good tackle on him though. Second tackle. Both teams starting electric, electric players. Just trying to find some wall cavo. Hit solidly there by Hughes, though. Just pushed back. Mark Sweet gets in there to help him out. Trying out there. Gives a short ball there to Ben Punch. Looking for some space. And it's the fourth tackle. Wall okay, gives it short there for Lucky Tua. There's the fifth tackle. Goes K. K for bombs. And that's a very good kick. Under. Oh, it's a pressure. Hits the post. Feu comes up with it. And the bounce of the ball just going the Storm's way that time. And throwing out Feu. He's been solid all season. Well, they're probably their best forward all season. The bounce hits the upright. And here's the play coming through. Puts it down. And that's disappointing for the Warriors. They're doing so well defensively, but just a little thing going the Storm way. And maybe that could start a little bit of a comeback here. Little Storm. They get up the top of it. They'll get this goal. It should be okay against this one. They'll be down by six. And this game is not over by any means. Make it 12 points to six to start this half. The first try of the day. Sometimes that's all you need for your season or your game, or even your season in this case, to get back on track. It's just something to go your way. Can give a team a lot of confidence and it just bounced the right way that time for during out there. Now Q Snow kicks off. Deep down to Sony Tire. Gives it out a bend punch. Moves on the place putting pressure on Buns, obviously. Can't really blame that bounce there on Buns, just Bounce towards the storm goal line, but it just gives them now yeah, a little bit of confidence that they can do something with it. That's going to be the second tackle. Goes back here to Fetu. To regular out Fetu now. That's the third tackle. Goes out the back there to Corey Bell. Fourth tackle now. Goes there to Ryan Lawrence. Gives it short there. Ben Punch it'll be. Fifth tackle it is. That's a good little run there from the Melbourne's prop. And a good, I was going to say, a good set off the points. Will K charge down, kick by Fana. And unfortunately, it all goes to end with that set. As although the Warriors make an error, Keith puts on a shot there. I'm not sure the Storm people will be happy about that despite the error already occurring. And well. The Melbourne Storm now have an opportunity to potentially tie up. And now a penalty. They will get a full set on the line. It won't be them having to work their way down for an attack and kick. They'll get a full set on the line. And after what looked like a good little play there by Barna, all goes quite with an error. And now a penalty. 
in touch. 30 minutes to go still. Storm haven't had a full set on one in a while, I believe. So, we just to see what they can do here. That's going to be the first tackle. Just short of the 20. Goes Sony Tyler. Short ball there. Malkus. He's happy to take a run. Six, six minutes in that first half. A decent first half by Luke Malkus. It's going to be fair to push it forward. That's the third tackle. Goes short side. He's tire. Hits a... Bro... Bonsakaru, you know, he can find the line. He pushes forward, in fact. I think he might have got down. Bonsakaru hits the ball at pace. And he's pushing forward. Oh, Bunce is in the way. We can't see Bunce. You have to get the way. There we go. Let's turn it around. That's a try. They couldn't keep him up. And just like that, the Melbourne Storm... It's 12 points to 10. It's about to be 12 points all. If K can slot this kick. A little bit more of a tricky kick. But I'd back K to get it from here. And. Well things just be going. The way I've been at the moment. Took 12 minutes and it's tied once again 12 all. Just wanting to start the half of the Warriors. Just. Nothing's gone their way. And, well, the Storm have tied things up for all. Tiger gives a punch there. Things just going like the Storm at the moment. We'll bet you. Strapped in on now. Goes for the off bow. Hits a hand of the Warriors defender, I thought. They're going to say not play that though, and it's still no six more tackles. Lawrence. Dummies and runs. The cow are a terror to play to take him down. Let's give it a third tackle. Goes out the back. Corey Bell. Hasn't made his mark with his game as much as he would have liked to in this game. That's another strong tackle on the Melbourne fullback. Fourth tackle. Send it over to Wool K. Fifth tackle now. Good kick down there to Isaac Simons. This is looking good. Isaac Simons with the face. And a disappointing kick chase. Isaac Simons looks to go for distance. Brought a job to the chasing. And out of absolutely nothing, the Warriors take the lead back. Talk about a momentum swing right there. 12 points to begin this second half. And Blackhawks get a bit of... Melbourne would go on with it, but a poor kick chase. Isaac Simons runs onto it at pace. And the Warriors take the lead. And they'll look to convert this back at 18 points to 12. A good game this is set to be. In front of the Mount Smart crowd, the Auckland Warriors. They want to show us what they can do. 18 to 12. Take the lead back. And now, over side, that was just so poor. It was a good kick, too, but just no kick chase. And Isaac Simons is a very quick player, just off the mark, just accelerated once he caught the ball. And he was just away straight away. Cartney gives it out to Nanai. That's the first tackle. Goes over to Barna. That's the Two second tackle. They look to go short side here. Keat. Long ball over to Isaac Simons. He's trying to go over the sideline there. Broder Thompson. Is he over? No, he's not. Well done by um Simons to stay in there. I thought he was going to go over the side. Let's give the fourth tackle now. This is looking good from the Warriors. Another good play there. Barnes takes on Corey Bell. He's taken down there by uh, eventually. I think that's Malkus. And I think it's Ben Punch in there with him. Tackle. Snow. Not the deepest of kicks there. Although taken well by Aaron White. But he's going to be wrapped up there by some good defense. Luke Malkus it is. But it's not a worse. Th a horrible place to start your set. The Warriors up scoring points. A good set. Barnes making some good meters. One. Isaac Simon's going to go inside, but it makes some good meters in the end. It's an off 
Broken off by Pete was there. But he takes down Turing out that ooh. We'll play it there. Goes punch. Short ball there. Malchus through space. Goes for the pass. Intercepted by John McCartney. They try to take him over the sideline. They can't. And this is the option the Warriors need to potentially extend their lead. Short ball. It's going to be Aratere. Pushes forward. McCartney. Long pass over to Nanai. Third tackle. Long pass over. Timmy Jane and White look for some space. He's happy to take the tackle there. That's the fourth tackle. Fusto. Inside ball there to Daniel Keat. That's going to be fifth tackle. Who wants it? It's going to go back. Timmy Fusto. And it'll put a good kick in here. It's too sideways. Not the kick they really needed. Taken well by Aaron White, but he can't do anything with it. It's going to be a handover and cross the same spot. But it was last time. Again, not the worst place to hand it over. I would have liked to see something more there. Considering where the um, kick was taken. from, pretty much went sideways He's instead of just forward. But now, Melbourne side have some ball again. Marcus taking another hit up. It's been good in that second room. Just making a lot of meters there, Marcus. Go short side here. Mav Oldfield. Mav Oldfield going towards the sideline. Is he? Yes, he is. Nate, another error by the Melbourne side. Since that scored, since the last scored points. It's an error after error after error. This time it's Matt Old for trying to sneak down the touchline, but Cooper Gronk gets around him, and Isaac Simons could be forced over earlier. And this time at the other end, it's Cooper Gronk forced to go over Matt Oldfield. And start the set on 50. Just to put an attack kick by the end of it. Goes there to Aaron White. Can't get a pass off there to. Cooper Gronk, they'll play it there. It's going to go now. Nanai it is. Nanai bumps off one. He's looking for some space. Had Jaden White on his outside. That's going to be the third tackle now. Pat Corcoran gives over to Barna. Fourth tackle now. Cartney pushes forward there. That's going to be the fifth tackle. 20 minutes to go. I'd love to extend the lead here. Hughes though it is. Another poor bomb here. Taken once again, this time by Barnes, but again, the same top kick, it just doesn't go deep enough. And they pretty much handed over in the exact same spot they handed over the last three times. Not the worst spot, but I would like to see a little bit more. It's the first tackle. 19 minutes to go. Melbourne have defended pretty well this half, all things considered. And they have to keep doing that, because currently they're down, and I also got to find some points. It goes over to Marcus. Picked up a driven back by Aaron White. Good tackle there. On the big forward. Goes to Dylan Sharp. Oh, that's a good run. Gets past one. Bunts the player to take him down, though. Fourth tackle. Goes inside here. Watch out. Corey Bell has it. Snicker, bro. Gets around him. A good tackle there. Fifth tackle. Who's it going to go to? Goes Sonny Tyre. He put that to a good kick there. Might be a little bit too deep, though it is. And if it was just a little bit forward, they could have got a line drop, and instead now it's a seven tackle set. Not what they would have liked there, the Auckland Warriors, and I'm sorry, from Storm, and it's a disappointing end to their set there. That, that was looking so promising. Seventeen minutes to go, still either team can win. And I feel like the next thing that scores is gonna go a long way to winning this game. Sticker bro pushes forward. That's gonna be the third tackle. Goes there to Ango. Got some space, but he's wrapped up there. That's the fourth. 18 to 12. 16 minutes to go. Barnum with another kid up. He's been awesome today on that edge. Really running hard. Playing a bit slow, but maybe a little bit injured there. Well, I'll forget. To see if he's there. He seems to be fine running on. Goes down the map old field. He's dangerous. Watch out on McCartney's there to make a crucial tackle though. Both teams are looking for something, just a something a little bit extra, but they can just find to get this game. Tire it is. Out the back to Corey Bell. Gives it a little K. Thumbs and goes himself. Third tackle now. Goes dead to Lekki Tua. That's the fourth tackle. Goes short side. K. Inside poor Vettacorio. That's a little bit of a good movement. Takes on Bunce. Can't find. And the offload. 
Put it around town on the inside. It could have been anything. Fifth tackle now. 14 minutes to go. They have to find... It's going to have to be sooner rather than later at this moment. They have to wait until they find opportunities. Now, oh, this is dangerous. Gronk with some space. Gets past Malchus. Corey Bell was always there, but... It's a good meters there by the Warriors. Second, um... Set, um winger, sorry. That on now. Pushing forward. Second tackle. Gronk it is again. Gronk straight through the line. Has some support. Runners can't find them though. Third tackle. Two good runs from Gronk will put them in position. Carney, inside ball there. White. White turns Corey Bell inside out. No, he doesn't. The ankle tap. Crucial ankle tap there. Fourth tackle. Corcoran. Long pass over to Hugh Snow. Fifth tackle now. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Nano who puts it up. I don't know why Nano's bombing it, but he has. Taken comfortably, though, by Bather Oldfield. And uh-oh, Oldfield's running away. Buds makes a tackle, and Melbourne Storm just survive again. Then Mark is now some space. This game just won't stop. Back at 440 at the moment. Mark has placed it down on the 50. Tyre. Long pass over to Dylan Sharp. He's wrapped up there, though. Now, end goal it is to make the tackle. Fourth, third tackle now. They play it there. They go back into the middle of the park. Mellow. Centers it. Fourth tackle. Here they go. Stone tight. Back to Blake Harris. Surely that was a forward pass. Ref says no. And they should be annoyed about that, the Warriors. That was definitely forward. Grab a kick in. Corey Bell is going to score. Off the back of the controversial forward pass. So did Tyler with an absolutely beautiful kick. Grab it in. Corey Bell strikes. You can't keep him out for the entirety of the game. His ninth try of the season. Oh, well, sorry. It was actually Ben Punch who grabbed it through. My apologies there. Ben Punch. But chance, but if you have a look at the background play at the moment, you can see... Give an absolute mouthful to the referee. He's not happy. He's calling for a check of that forward pass. Like, obviously, they cannot check plays prior to the one they scored off, but that was definitely forward to me, my liking. And the, all, the, the Melbourne Storm are going to tie things up 18 all. They are not happy, Northland Warriors. And why wouldn't they be? That was. I thought that was definitely a forward pass, or at least a lot of some time when they brought back to Blake Harris took the hit up. But it's it's 18 all here, Mount Smart Stadium. Warriors won by one point a few weeks ago. It's Melbourne side looking to do something similar. Goes deep. Down to Will K. Gives it up there to Mello. We're off. Next opportunity probably wins this game with potentially a field goal. So, either team can win it. Mac just pushes forward. If you're a Warriors fan, probably asking about that forward pass. And you're probably still disappointed with Dylan Chubb. That's a good run. Fights off on the fact. Fights the car who's in some space. Uh-oh. Cooper going to play the ball down. Third tackle. This might be an opportunity they needed. Goes Sonny Tyre. He takes the field goal and he slots it. Sonny Tyre. In front of Mount Smart Crowd. Kicks the field goal and put them in front with just eight minutes to go. Wasn't expecting to take it so early, but he just saw the opportunity slotted it through like an arrow. And the Warriors are behind. For the first time in this match. It took it 71 minutes and they're finally behind. And the Melbourne Storm off the all the pressure they had to sustain early in that game. They now are in front for the first time. It's taken 71 minutes, but they're in front. They go short side now. Over to Mav Oldfield. Oldfield now. We're gonna take him over the side line buds, but no he doesn't. That's gonna be the second tackle. Soddy tire. Gives it there. It's going to be Malkis now pushing forward. That's the third tackle. Goes short side again. Over to Bontakahu. Pulled down nicely there. It was his run that started it. Before they eventually kick the field goal. So we know we can play in the center. Short ball there. Sticker bro pulls down. 
for Lantaba. That's good fifth tackle. They need a good kick here and a good kick chase. They cannot give the Warriors an opportunity. It's going to be so time. That's a poor kick. Take it there by Aaron White. He's held there. One, First tackle. This is what they need. Sticker Bro pushes forward. That's a good run there. Game's not over by any means. Six minutes to go still. Anyone's game. It's going to go and go. Pushes forward there. Third tackle. Goes over to Mbana. That's not really the run they needed. Pushed back there. Fourth tackle. Short ball there. It's going to be Sticker Bro. Forward. They need, need something here. Who's it going to be? Hughes, no, that's probably not deep enough. Taken well by Marcus Square, but he can't find an offload. And this Melbourne side just survive again. I wish I can get those bombs right. I feel like there's lots of chances for them to potentially score, especially with players like Marcus Square over there. It's going to be our turn to take down the big Luke Miakas. Second tackle. Okay. Short ball there. It's going to be Ben Punch running onto it. That's the third tackle. We go short side. K. Okay. Back inside the bell. Bell's on a run. Bell's looking to beat Buncey Cart. That's going to be the fourth tackle. Maybe this is the last play. If they can score another try, you feel like that will be it. Fifth tackle now. Three and a half minutes to go. The game's not over yet, but it's just about there. A poor kick by Will K. Pretty much goes backwards. Taken by Belvo. Bell with some space. He can't find it. He finds an offload, in fact. Malchus is the only player there, and he gets wrapped up. So it might be, in fact, the last set of the Warriors. What the Warriors will have. One, release. First tackle. Three minutes to go here. Barna pushing forward. This is just not what they need here. Two. Second tackle. Maybe an early kick might be what they need. Goes over back to Bunce. He's wrapped up though. McCartney dummies and goes himself. That's been a four. Two minutes remaining. They just haven't found anything this set. We go short side here. Long pass over to White. A good tackle there by Trevontakahu. Fifth tackle, just nothing really doing that set. They need to force an error. It's going to see him now. Now no punts it into the backfield. Taken by Mav Oldfield. He gets wrapped up. And I'm not sure the Warriors will touch the ball unless they can, they can force an error here. Punch. Inside ball. Sharp. That's going to be the second tackle. A juggle ball there by Hamel Hurt. That could have been dangerous. Third tackle. They might get a couple of plays here if they can force an error. Third tackle. But they currently can't. It's going to be Sharp with a good run. He'll be wrapped up there by McCartney and Sticker Bro. This will be the fourth tackle. They might get one kick return. McCartney wraps up Blake Harris. Fifth tackle, they will. Slow play to pull Blake Harris. He's trying to move every single second he can. Gets it back. It's going to be Tyre. Punts it over. Simons, he did it earlier in the first half. Gets past one. He beats Corey Bell into the foot race. Corey Bell versus Isaac Simons. What unbelievable stuff. But now he gets wrapped up. He can't, doesn't have the legs. And the Melbourne Storm win the game. What an unbelievable finish. It's going to be everything. The comeback, the controversy. That will be our match review committee to have a look at that because I, for one, thought the play beforehand involved the forward pass. That's up the final try for the Storm. The refs disagreed. Led to the game winning play. Had there been another couple of plays, you get the feeling the Warriors would have won that one, but Bell just remaining back enough to chase down Isaac Simons. <laughs> oh, what an end to that game. There was another minute left on the clock, you feel like. You feel like the Warriors would have been able to find some points there, but unfortunately, it's another loss in their books. Their fifth loss of the season for the Warriors. Melbourne grabbed their third win. 19 points to 18. We're looking at some more individual stats here. I think so. I'm sort of play it. Gaby added that second half. Amazing half. Pat Corcoran was also solid. David Barton was good as always. Jenna White's got a couple of tries, but also very solid. John McCartney, John Nama had their moments. Triple Gronk was also decent, but in the end, it wasn't good enough. 
So we'll cover Corey's. Corey Bell again, 11 live wrecks, tried, tortured, 21 run beaters. What a game he had. Blake Harris was also solid at the hooker. Greg Outfit was good as always. <laughs> Attack wreck, five live wrecks had a try. Look at him, 121 run beaters. What a, what a game he had. Broder Thompson was very, very good. Ben Punch had his moments, but this game could have gone either way. Controversially goes to the Storm. Sean Warriors playing fans will not be happy about that. But it's just those little moments at the Storm 1. That bounce with the upright ended up five. also proving a difference. You don't stop a few things early against the Warriors today. And the Melbourne Storm Cult drops. I've been your host, Commissioner Lock Thank you all for watching. Five.